It's a beautiful day. Hey, 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 hey. hey how are you, are you? Are you trembling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come through with me, Houston. Good morning. Big up to my good friend, Jean Jermaine. Edward, you know we went to school mm. together, huh? Oh, did you? I remember Jermaine from like back in the day, like when we, we had an old piano in mm -hmm. Pascal Hall. And we used to be playing, the, trying to figure out the latest rhythms. Mm -hmm. And we'd always be like in when when Raina Fall or the yeah, class yeah, yeah. keep our doing, you know, some Play break. Our own music. Well, yeah, we were just crazy about music. He's like a that. lovely person. Yes, yeah, he is. I've good had you. to work good with Jermaine on numerous occasions. Mm -hmm. We're actually both brand ambassadors for the same ah, company at the same time. Yes, yes, so, yes. So yeah, lovely fellow. Good mm. morning, Jermaine. Morning, Jermaine. And it, it is in fact a beautiful day. It is. It I is. saw the sunrise. I'm looking at yes. it across. Yes, and rise and shine, mm -hmm. sunrisers. Yeah. Uh, let us actually pause for a second to mm -hmm. bloom in a. April. They say okay. a good day isn't always perfect. It challenges you to release your potential and inspires you to appreciate the little amazing things in life. Mm. Uh, uh, you know, I had a I had reason to have a conversation the other day with Jackson, mm -hmm. and he was um, he was fussing about something being hard. And I remember that conversation that we had yeah. the, other, the other morning. They said you can do hard things. Yes, yeah. and we had that hard things. And, and, and it, I'm, my mind draws to that because not every good day is an easy day. Correct. Sometimes the good days, sometimes the beautiful days are actually hard days. And they're the ones where you realize you unlock a whole new level of potential yeah. in yourself, a yeah, whole yeah. new strength. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you level up a little bit, mm -hmm. right? So, and so some of the times you realize the beauty in the day at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Beauty you know? flashes. Yeah. Sometimes it's not at noon that you realize that the day is beautiful. Yeah. Sometimes we'll give it till evening. Yeah. And that, I suppose it's a metaphor for life. Just keep look at time now. You again, realize it was a beautiful also day. Also, perspective is everything. Mm -hmm. So I remember often being asked when I was younger. Mm -hmm. I, it actually, it was done demonstratively. Mm -hmm. There is a glass, mm -hmm. there is water in there. And I'd be asked, is the glass half full? Mm -hmm. Or is it half empty? Mm -hmm. And I used to always be like, well, technically, it would be half full because it was originally empty. And mm -hmm. so you're putting something in it, but it has nothing to do with the actual liquid in the glass. No. It's entirely Your the mindset and the perspective. And I suppose if, if, you, if you're coming from the glass being empty, mm -hmm. it's definitely half full. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then, you know? you know, the argument was always, yes, but it was full and then I drank it down. So is it no? But then... I, as a child, I thought it was just a literal, yeah. how full is the yeah. glass. But yeah. that's actually probably one of my favorite, um, what do you call those again, Dennis? Analogies. Analogies. Uh -huh. Is the glass half mm -hmm. full or half empty? Perspective. Yeah. Perspective. Good morning, Perspective Jackson. is important. Is he up? No, he's not up yet because no. he doesn't have school. I got gotcha. He doesn't have school. School starts tomorrow for him. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he's... He's not what did there. you guys do for the weekend? This weekend he had uh, Taekwondo. Yes. Um, he got his certificate, so he get him like a get him like a yellow stripe on him belt. Congratulations! He's just four, so I mean, too nice. you know, but you know, he take those high blocks and mid blocks and low blocks <laughs> very seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning, Master Lou, and everybody from um, the Taekwondo um, nice. family. Yeah, man, big up, big up. Nice. I, I enjoy my weekends in that regard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I carried Izzy to have a little look see at some of the festivities. Mm -hmm. um, so she's at that stage in her life where she's really into all things beautiful. Mm. So she, she likes, you know, what people, how people play around with makeup, how they style their hair. She how must they, have loved it yesterday. Oh, man. She was just like, whoa, the gems. Yeah. Oh, the feathers. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh the that. color combinations. Yeah. She's like, mommy, did you know those colors could go together? That looks so good. I love that palette. <laughs> like, she, that's where her little brain is now. Yeah. Her not-so-little brain. Yeah. So we took in some of the carnival festivities. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. I, I, I quite enjoyed looking at it on my phone. That yeah. Was <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, um, they did something different, though, that, um, oh, there's an aerial view there that you're mm -hmm. seeing on your screens now. Okay. There's something different that I believe started since last year, mm -hmm. um, if I'm not mistaken, but everyone takes a different route. So we have three main bands in Jamaica now, right? Isn't that the norm? Um, it's not typical. Typically, they all come together at some point. Oh. Typically. So when I would jump road march back in the day, <laughs> back when Jesus was a boy, yeah. um, you, at some point you all come together. But 
the three different routes made it a little less interesting for the spectators because there's a lot of downtime and a lot of lull, just okay. nothingness happening um, oh. for the spectator. That would be from the spectator's perspective. Yeah. Um, but I must say, I don't know what it is, but there wasn't that much energy on the road. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I have a theory. My theory is yeah. that originally... The people who jumped carnival were mm -hmm. people who love and enjoy soca music and like carnival. So we're talking about from like yeah. Byron Lee back so in the day. The, it, it is about the institution. Right. Yeah. So people love a good fit, love carnival. Yeah. Them no, no, I'm not afraid for sweat. Them not afraid of powder and paint. The people who love real juve, those are the people who originally did carnival. Yeah. And my theory is, that. as a result of socials, yeah. Carnival has become very cool to showcase, right? This is only my yeah. theory, yeah. my opinion. Yeah. And I feel like now we have a lot of people who experience FOMO because they don't have anything to showcase on socials. Yeah. So they say, you know it's what? The next I, thing. I'm going to jump in Carnival. But they're not Carnival lovers. Mm -hmm. so they're not soca lovers. Yeah. So the energy feels very low to me. And there's a lot of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And that's not... for. That's not so. Or is it, do you think, we're, we're, let's flesh out your theory. Yeah. Because there could be an intergenerational aspect of your theory. And in that regard, that that is a feature of this generation of young people who are now coming of age, that they are very much into capturing the moment rather Instead than living, living the moment. It. But I feel really sad for them. <laughs> you <laughs> because know? Because I'm telling you when I say there, so typically there is an energy and mm -hmm. an air that is just so infectious and mm -hmm. you just feel, you know, I, like, and, but like with, with, with people of a certain age, when they feel that feeling and that energy, like they'll feel like, it I have you. to capture it. I have to capture no, it. No, but let me tell you what I see happening. Yeah. This is what I see happening. So you have one generation, as so I said, the millennials and up, right? Yeah. What you're seeing on the road is this, them chipping, them having fun. Yeah. I'm with my friend, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I jump, yeah. you? and then you have another set who are doing this. They walk, and then they take out the phone, and then they go, woo <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, it's are a, you actually having fun or is it performative for socials? But it is, but, but then that's how socials is nowadays. But that's the problem is what I'm saying. It's, mm -hmm. not, a, it's not an organic, genuine mm -hmm. enjoyment and excitement. And you can feel it as a spectator on the road. Mm -hmm. And I've spoken to a few revelers, our very own stylist, Jay Michelle. Mm -hmm. She was on the road and she felt it too. As people who were doing carnival before phone their boat, mm -hmm. you, you feel a change. You know, and, it becomes and I'm more sure, performative. And I'm and sure that the young people, because I'm very wary of, of these kinds of criticism, because the young people are going to tell us that you're all. And I am. <laughs> you're and old. I am. But I'm, I'm, there's a significant difference yeah. in how the experience feels. Mm -hmm. Significant yeah, difference. Okay. It's interesting. Yeah. Um, and I mean, maybe it will come around, maybe it will change, maybe. I guess we'll have to hit a water. Anybody moment. in the comments yeah. in our in our live feed right now, the yeah. people in the comments, drop something if you were there yesterday or watching it and tell me if you don't feel what I'm talking about. Yeah. The people who are OG Byron Lee and the Dragon. Come on people. on TV. It's still come on. Remember back I, in the day well, sorry, I don't know it, if you it, knew, but it yes, used to come, it used on, come on, on in the afternoons, mm -hmm. right? For after the lunch break, it would come on and be on until evening. And then we would all gather. At some, where was it? Big, somewhere big, somewhere big in New something. Kingston it was. It was like out near Canadian Embassy, somewhere so, out, there, out there, sir. Oh, no, there man. There was a part, big we, wall. We go further, go further, mm -hmm. further back. And you, we gathered all in this dome. I remember when I did Kiddies Carnival, and you had Tantan and Saga Boy oh. up on the stage, and Byron Lee and the Dragonairs come out and where, perform. Where, where Popeyes and um, Krispy Kreme is right now, that was a big somewhere spot. Right down there. There. Yeah. Somewhere down a, there. Somewhere down there. That was a big spot when it was, yeah. that was just an empty. So empty I know lot. the tourist board did a live stream, which okay. I know was very well viewed. Okay. Um, and that was again from 2 o'clock onward. Mm -hmm. um, but the, back to your question, it don't come on TV again. Like, okay, time. okay. Yeah. Because, like, for the non people, but the people who just watch it as a spectacle, that used to be a thing yeah, as well. Yeah, it was no? a thing. But um, I don't know. 
-hmm. it's different. It's it's different. But things change. Mm -hmm. Things evolve, and mm -hmm. as a part of existence, right? Things yeah. are never going to consistently be the same. Mm -hmm. That's anyway. how it is. That's how it is. All right. Yeah. Did you see the fling back Friday? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. I actually, Which one was your favorite one? Your photo. <laughs> really? Re no. No, no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just saying that. No. When I see passport picture. That was my favorite one. Dead enough. That was my favorite one. I was like. Grung. Me? Grung. I I see the hair. I see the hair. Is who that? That's Abby. Oh, oh, oh. oh look at these bubbles. Uh. Oh, look at that looks like David. It is David. Oh, no. He looks the same. Uh. Oh, that's you. Uh. That's you. <laughs> In the cool. Oh, that's uh, yeah. Natasha. Oh, no, that's all. Oh, Pente. my twin. Of them. These Brunella. are just too sweet. Yeah. Is who baby pictures are fresh and Ooh, cool? Shiloh. Shiloh. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, she can't hide, you know. Same exact she pout. Hide, I love know. her pout. Her yeah. lips are beautiful. It's the Tamster. Hey, TK. Oh, the eyes nice. don't change. Dizzle. The eyes yeah. don't change. Yeah, and oh, this I know that picture though. I know that picture. You do? I know that picture. Because and then... <laughs> oh, I love it. Yo, imagine having all that here and losing it. I mean <laughs> But actually you don't have to imagine. No, no, no. Because... I didn't have all that here. That's the thing. <laughs> I mean, okay, it's e part it's call easier the to part. No, I'm saying it's easier to part with if you ever had so much. Would you more. rather be the pot or the kettle, Dennis? Tell me. Pot. Okay. Yes. Because you're surely calling out the kettle right no. now. Oh, you missed my point. You I'm never saved. had ever that much hair. I never had that much hair. Here come Nugget and Fari. And, and then it gone. <laughs> <laughs> so we missed out on it. So we had to jump on it uh, this morning and have our own version of throwback. Our mixtape comes up next and it's a little vibe. So jump in with us. Ah, uh, Selector, run the mixtape. Here we, here we, here we, here we. 